Stencils are great for creating unique backgrounds on our cards and in this video I am sharing cards made with many layered stencils from favorite companies of mine. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik and I'm also featuring many different fun fold ideas and an opportunity for you to win a fantastic layered stencil set and matching stamp set. So be sure to stick around to find out how you can qualify to win that prize. My first card is a top bridge card with a hanging Easter egg. So it is um, a hanging, there's a hanging Easter egg there, and it's a top bridge card. Now in my description box, there are links to the tutorials where I learned how to make most of the fun folds that I'm showing, as well as to my blog posts with more details on the cards shown. If I showed how to make each one, this video would get very, very long. But I will share a template for most of the fun folds, and you can pause and take notes if you wished. I used a Colorful Life Designs layered jelly bean stencil set. On the colorful background so you can see that it is you have three different stencils and that's what all the sets are today they're layered stencils so this is the layered jelly beans stencil set from a colorful life designs and if you look there I did it in pink yellow and blue and um, I also did it on this inside piece here and then I did a much lighter version here um, that you could also write a message on. Now all the dies that you see here are um, from Dies to Die For, except the sentiment um, that is from Karen Berniston. So um, again, a really cool, fun fold. Even the Easter Bunny, um, I took a bite out of his ear. This is the template that I got, uh, that I made from the um, tutorial that I found, and it is a top bridge card, and um, you can see I cut it um, 5 by 12, and then I scored it at 6 and 3 to create that bottom part, and then the top part is one and a half by 12, and again you score at six and three, and you put it together like that. Now, some bridge cards are uh, along the center or the bottom, so you can do many different ways, and the one that I saw, what I really liked was the hanging element, so I put that on this card. I tried a simple backwards fun fold card for this colorful pinwheel party card using pinwheel party layered stencils and dies from the greetery. So um, as you can see there's the front and they have these really fun stenciled pinwheels and I created that those with the greeteries layered stencil set and also their die set that matches. So I was able to cut out the pinwheels and also the let's party with that die set. Um, these pinwheels were created with ink and then simply turned a little bit and I put glitz glitter gel um, from Thermoweb and Gina K on those. And then when you open it up um, it has like a backwards card inside and that's uh, what was the uh, fun fold that I used and there's some more uh, this time just inked pinwheels with the stencils let's party happy birthday um, so I thought that was kind of a fun card to create and it's very very simple um, you simply do an A2 card and uh, with and then um, you I cut out uh, let's party there. You don't have to, but I think it's a fun thing to have showing through. And then when you open up, there's another smaller card on the inside, which is um, backwards folding. So that one is five by three and three quarters uh, and uh, folded in half. So it's just a simple fun fold. This Love Square Easel card was created with the layered bokeh hearts 
die uh, stencil set from Newton's Nook. And I also used the Heart Hug and the Lovely Words from A Colorful Life Designs. So the um, background in here again is with that Boca Hearts stencil set. And first I did the bright red and then I did the second layer in the white pigment ink and that gives that Boca look which I really like. And then over the whole thing I did that beautiful um, heart hug stencil with a more glitz glitter gel and that also was created with a stencil. So that's just a simple easel card with a bunch of cool new stencils. Um, this card was created with a new stencil set that I got from the Greetery and it's called um, Fur and Foliage Number 1 and what that creates is the trees which you can make into spring, summer, fall, and winter trees, which is what I decided to do. So these dies on the front are layered dies from a die, dies to die for. And um, I did a four fold for the four seasons. Um, and um, I, again, there's links to all these tutorials in the description box, but um, for this one, you, if you start with an 11 and a half by five and a half, uh, card base and you score at one quarter, three point seven, three and three quarters, and seven and a quarter. And so, and then you cut that top part off, and then you add an extra piece that I made into four and a half by three and a quarter. Now, on the tutorial, she made this one smaller, but I wanted to make sure that I had enough room to do a beautiful spring tree on that. So, um, tutorial is, of course, linked in the uh, description box. I know I went crazy. I made a whole bunch of cards, but I was having so much fun. And I have so many cool new um, layered stencils. This one is called Layered Tulips from A Colorful Life Designs. And um, I did just a simple... Uh, the inside is smaller than this is an A2 size card and then you cut one and a quarter off the top and you just um, have that piece that folds down to um, just make a but it just makes it more interesting that it's not just a regular A2 card. I used um, again the layered tulips and I used um, the shattered uh, rainbow foil from um, Decofoil and Thermoweb, and I got I I applied uh, Decofoil Transfer Gel Dual through the the flower layer. When once it was um, dry, I applied foil on top. But this side here, um, I tried a new technique that I just found out about. I think I'm going to do another video on it. But briefly, I used the Easy Cut adhesive from. Icraft and Thermoweb, and then I took the rainbow foil, uh, rainbow shattered foil, which looks like that after the tulips were done, and crinkled it all up and um, applied it just by pouncing onto that sticky adhesive, and that's the look you get. Isn't that cool? I just love that. And then on the inside, I used a few more tulips and a So Grateful, and then a butterfly out of that um, pretty foiled background. I This masculine vertical easel card was created with the layered leopard stencil set from A Colorful Life Designs. Um, I love to add texture to one of the layers of the layered stencils and in this case I use Decafoil's black metallic gel. So um, if you can see there Let's see if we can see it here maybe a little easier. The um, first layer was done in an ink and then the second layer was done in that black metallics gel. And once that dried, I cut um, the um, pieces and put this together. Now this is a new fun fold to, for me. 
um, I had not seen the vertical easel card, but there was a tutorial on split coast stampers, and I've put a link in the uh, description box to that. And I thought that was um, a really neat, fun fold. Of course, it lays flat to fold, and then um, it stands up. And then this piece here uh, will um, kind of move around. So I decided to step up that new fun fold that I learned and I'm going to try to make the front piece that moves back and forth into a shaker box. So I started with a square card cut five and a half by eleven and then you score it in half again so at two and three quarters and five and a half and um, then you fold it down and that's going to make your card base. So the um, layered stencil that I'm going to use is called the Layered Dots Stencils from A Colorful Life Designs. So I decided that this Rectangle Dots Layer Die from a Pop Birch Press Designs would be perfect because um, it also has the dots on it. So on the inside I have put a um, Birthday Wishes from uh, that dies from um, dies to die for and that um, rectangle there and that card is ready to go. I took that layered stencil set and um, I have created the front panels. Um, the Glitz Glitter Gel from Gina K Designs. I use the Turquoise C. Um, that takes a little while to dry. So I have um, completed these pieces and I am going to put them on to the card. But I'm going to show you how easy the stencil is to use by um, using it on another part of this card. So those are ready to go. Um, all of these stencils that I'm showing are layered stencils. So I am going to take the um, first layer and I am going to do that um, in a peach. Um, it's from my favorite things, the Coral Crush. And I want this to be light because it's going to be in a background. So I'm just going to do a light touch. And of course, I'm using my favorite brushes from Tailored Expressions. Then you take the second layer and you're just going to line it up so those smaller dots are in between the big circles or dots. And now I'm using Gina K Designs Turquoise C. You can see how easy it is to create a very cool layered pattern and if they all the dots were on one stencil it would be very difficult to change colors but having them on two makes changing the colors very very easy. And now I have a very subtle colored background. I put a piece of temporary adhesive on the back that I'm going to remove. I have um, die cut that dots rectangle frame die and out of um, an aqua blue and then I have uh, cut a piece of the um, 
coral paper and then um, used a die to cut out the center and um, put a piece of acetate there. Um, I've added the word happy on top here uh, and I'm going to create a shaker with this. Um, and I'm hoping I can put it on top there um, using the uh, tutorial from Split Coast Stamper as a guide. So I have layered two layers of the Motion Crafts double-sided skinny phone tape strips. Um, lately I've been adding two because I've been using the um, shaker beads to make shaker cards. These move so much better and they don't stick at all so it's really cool to use these. And I have them ready in my Trinity Stamps little cup here. Um, I also punched out some extra of those Glitz Glitter Gel Circles, so um, that's going to go in there. And then, you know, when I was cutting out these, I had all those little extra circles too. So in here, mixed in with these beads, are some um, aqua and um, peach circles and some Glitz Glitter Gel. And I have this ready to go. I think... Maybe that's enough, huh? Don't want to do too many. And I forgot to do this, but I think I can still do it. Um, I like to use a uh, powder tool along the edge so these don't stick as much. And it's a little harder to do once you've got these in here, but I can do it. So I'm going to add some powder. And you see they're sticking there. That's what I'm trying to prevent. But that was supposed to be done before I put the beads in, but that's okay. I'll manage. So I'm going to carefully remove the tape from the top of these skinny adhesive strips. And then this stenciled background that we made is just going to add a little bit of color to the background. And I'll press that down firmly. And see how that moves. So cool. And you can see those little glittery circles in there as well. I think that's... I'm loving using the seed beads. So, um, how this, si this easel card is created, you put something on the side here that's going to pop up. And I decided just to continue with the dots theme. And I um, added some real high pop dot tape on this. So that's going to hold up the easel like that. And then you cut two circles or some type of shape and fold it in half. And they're going to go on here with some good strong tape. And then we're going to apply that. And then hopefully that um, piece there will shake and move. Now usually when I do a card for a video, I've done it before. So I know for sure it works. I didn't this time. I decided to be brave, but I think it will. I made these circles just a little bigger than the, what I did, um, and what you do is you apply it right along the fold there. And then we're going to apply this other one, circle. And there's this good strong tape on both sides of these circles which were folded in half. As usual, getting the tops off of these <laughs> are sometimes the hardest part. Okay, so it's going to go on that side of the fold. <clears throat> Oh, 
Okay. Now we're going to attach this shaker piece to those circles. So they are on the top of the card. And you see how it, it moves back and forth and the shaker's pieces move around and it becomes an easel card. You can lay it flat, more or less flat, to mail. It would take a couple extra stamps. And then stand it up. And on the inside I have happy birthday wishes. I think that's a really cool fun fold. And I had a lot of fun creating it. Would you like to win this fantastic set of layered stencils from the Greetery? It is the ones that I use to create these pinwheels and this these pinwheel here as well. And the uh, matching stamp set from the Greetery with the Let's Party and a bunch of neat stamps on there. I previously ordered just the stencil set and I created some cards and a video with it. The link to that is in the description box. I couldn't afford the die set and the matching stamp set at the time, but when the Greetery had a recent sale, I ordered the matching die set. I was sent the whole bundle by mistake, and when I let them know that, they graciously allowed me to use the extras as a giveaway here. To qualify to win, you must leave a comment on this video before February 14th, 2021, and tell me where you live. Sorry, I can mail to USA mailing addresses only. And also tell me which layered stencil set or card I showed is your favorite. If your comment qualifies and is chosen, I will mail out this pinwheel stamples, pinwheel party stencil set and matching stamp set from the Greetery and this card that I created with that uh, stencil set to you. So good luck and make sure you leave a comment and I will choose a winner on February 14th. I had so much fun creating these fun fold cards with these awesome layered stencils and I hope my cards inspire you to give some of the products and fun folds a try. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing, and thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.